We want to go now to Washington, D.C. And, and remember, I told you earlier, Senator Mitch McConnell was waiting to hear from Marco Rubio on this of Florida. Senator there, he's speaking now in Washington. Let's watch. Of this regime who was kept against his will for far too long. Our prayers are with him and his family because he was not just a prisoner, he was a hostage. But this president has proven today that his foreign policy is more than just naive. It is willfully ignorant of the way the world truly works. This administration just last week finally agreed, after months of congressional pressure, to impose sanctions on the Venezuelan government officials who are violating human rights. A government that has spent all of 2014 appallingly killing, jailing, and violently oppressing its own people. And yet, a week later, this administration is making historic concessions to the very Cuban government that supports and is behind the tyranny in Venezuela. The Cuban government is influential at the highest levels of the Venezuelan regime and has helped them mastermind the crackdown on the Venezuelan people. This policy contradiction is absurd and it is disgraceful for a president who claims to treasure human rights and human freedom. This president is the single worst negotiator we have had in the White House in my lifetime, who has basically given the Cuban government everything it asked for and received no assurances of any advances in democracy and freedom in return. Let me close by reminding everyone that God bestowed on the Cuban people the same rights that he did on every other man, woman, and child that has ever lived. The inalienable rights spoken about in our founding documents. The Cuban people, like all those oppressed around the world, they look to America to stand up for these rights, to live up to our commitment to the God-given right of every person, to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. These rights exist not just for people born in the continental United States, but for people everywhere. It is unacceptable that the only people in this hemisphere that do not know democracy and have not known democracy for more than five decades is the people of Cuba. That should be our overriding objective, to do all we can to bring about political democratic openings in Cuba. And then a free Cuban people can decide whatever economic model they want. But the measures taken today will do nothing to bring about that day and in fact, I fear we'll significantly set it back. Today, by conceding to the oppressors, this president and this administration have let the people of Cuba down.